Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you a couple of new beauty products that I recently purchased. One is the new, it's just been released in the US and it is the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Primer. And I'm also going to be showing you the Christian Louis Vuitton, it's the Fluid Foundation. That one was released probably at least four or five weeks ago and I picked mine up from Harrods. The Tom Ford primer I was able to pick up here in New Zealand because that was released here just a little while ago and I purchased that from Smith and Coe's. Now I've done all my skincare for the morning and the last step is sunscreen. That was a few hours ago, it's now mid-morning. So I put on another layer of sunscreen probably about a good quarter of an hour 20 minutes ago. So this is the packaging that the Tom Ford primer comes in. As I said, it is called the Shade and Illuminate Soft Radiance Primer. And this has an SPF of 25 in it. So this is more of a primer that definitely gives a glow. And I have used this a few times now. And the packaging that it comes in is exactly the same as the Shade and Illuminate Foundation. So this is the packaging that it comes in. And it has a slight pinky with a little bit of a beige tint in there. I'll pump a little bit on the back of my hand. So it just has the pull-off cap and a pump dispenser. So this is what it looks like. And you can just see it. It's just running down a little bit. Now the consistency of this and the texture that it feels like is similar to Dior released two primers last year. One was the Velvet Matte one and the other one was a Glow Primer. So they are similar texture to those and this does have, it has a slight fragrance to it not really a lot. Now before I put this on, I'm just going to look at the website and just give you a few more details about this primer. It says it's ideal for all skin types and I would agree with that, although with my oily skin there's probably a little bit of a caveat on that as well. It says it's a hybrid primer formula that seamlessly bridges skincare and foundation routines in a single complexion enhancing step. The primer is infused with hyaluronic acid and different skincare ingredients. It mounts seamlessly into the skin for hydrated, smooth and a supple feel. The primer is formulated with broad spectrum SPF 25 to help protect your skin from harmful UVA and UVB rays. They say it's long wearing, non-drying, sweat resistant, transfer resistant and keeps skin hydrated for up to 12 hours. Now I just want to quickly refer to the SPF 25 and that is good that it's in there but as I said my last step and I just put it on just a little while ago 15 or 20 minutes ago was my sunscreen because I never rely on SPF that's in a foundation or this being a primer because you're just not going to put enough on of this primer to get the protection that you need. The little amount really that you're going to put on means that instead of an SPF 25, because you need a really decent amount of sunscreen to get that protection, you'd probably end up once you've got this on, maybe SPF 2 or if you're lucky, SPF 5. So that's why I say whenever there's something like this in here, treat it as something like it's an added bonus on top of the sunscreen that you've already got, but don't rely on it solely as a sunscreen. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this on the left side of my face first. And you really just only need one pump of this. It has a really beautiful feel. And as I said, it is slightly fragranced. And it gives a beautiful base for the foundation. And it definitely has a glow to it. It's not mattifying in any way. Now, when I first got this primer, and it was only a couple of weeks ago, the weather was actually quite a bit warmer, probably with a little bit more humidity than it is now. So just in a couple of weeks, the weather's changed quite a bit here in New Zealand. So when I first tried it under the foundation we're going to try today, I thought it added probably a little bit too much glow. I didn't really need it with my oily skin. But I recently tried it with foundation. The last time was, it was a couple of days ago and I thought it was perfect. So that's why in my videos, not only do I mention what skin type I have, but also what the weather's like at the moment. 
and I suppose it's the same for dry skin as well. But the time of the year really affects what your skin is like. My skin's still oily in the cooler months, but it's not as oily as in, say, the middle of summer when there's more humidity. So that's with all the primer on, just on the left side of my face. And this side glows a bit as well because, as I said 15, 20 minutes ago, I put on that sunscreen. But the side that I've got the primer on, like I said, it doesn't feel mattifying in any way and it doesn't feel sticky. It feels really beautiful and smooth and it really does give a gorgeous base for your foundation. So now I'm just gonna pop some on the other side. And even though it has that pink sort of tinge to it, it doesn't show up on, on your skin at all. Now whether it would leave a cast if you have a darker skin tone than me, I'm not too sure. At a guess, I'd probably say that it doesn't. But if you have quite a bit a darker skin tone and you're interested in this, then I think I would definitely ask for a tester first and just see how it goes. But it blends in really beautifully and it just gives a really gorgeous base to my foundations. So I do have quite a few primers and it's like I said, the texture of this is more like the Dior Velvet or those two Dior primers that were released last year. Now I got the Velvet one, so that is more mattifying than the Dior Glow one. So this one, just in comparison to the Dior Velvet primer that I got, even though the texture is the same, the finish is different. This definitely feels like it is has more of a moisturizing effect than the Dior one. Now I do love the Dior one and I can wear that any time throughout the year. And the other one that I really love is that one that Chanel released last year. It's a mattifying one in the black tube and I've nearly run out of that. I have to get another one and I love that. Now when I put that one on, that definitely, it's not a flat matte when I put it on, but it definitely feels more mattifying than this primer does. Does. But in saying that, I'll still be able to use this primer, as I said, more for like autumn, winter and spring when I pair it with, say, a soft matte foundation, which is just like the one I'm going to wear today, the Christian Louis Vuitton one that I'm going to show you. And I think that they pair beautifully, a primer like this and a soft matte foundation. Now, those of you that have normal to dry skin, I think will really love this primer. It really does give a beautiful moisturizing effect and just gives a beautiful, it's not sticking in any way. It's more like, it's more like a dewy base to then apply your foundation over the top. And this primer has, I didn't mention it, it has 30 mils of product and it has a shelf life of 24 months from date of opening. So now let's take a look at the Christian Louis Vuitton foundation. I saw quite a few videos on this and people had trouble with the shade. So it took me quite a while to decide which shade that I was going to get. In the end, I picked up shade 20W Linen Nude. Now with foundations, I normally go for a neutral one. But when I was looking at the different videos and I think I looked at one, someone had more of a cooler base to their skin tone and someone was a little bit darker than me and slightly warmer. So I looked at the foundations that and the shades that they chose and I took something just in between. So any neutral shade that this had, it is quite unusual, this shade range. So when it went more to the neutrals, they were a lot darker and it would be too dark for me. So I thought instead of going for something that was cooler in a foundation shade, it was better to stick to something warmer. And I'd have to say that I'm really pleased with the shade that I picked. I think it looks really gorgeous. The outside packaging of this is beautiful. It's that beautiful iconic red that Christian Louis Vuitton is known for. And as I was saying, this is a soft matte foundation. It has 30 mils of product and has a shelf life from 12 months of date of opening. And on their website, it says that the new Le Fluid slips effortlessly on a light veil that brings breathable, buildable, perfectly flawless comfort and coverage, delivering a perfect finish from a powerful blend of high-performing, 
precious skin loving ingredients. It says 24 hour of no transfer comfortable wear, 24 hour of luminous matte, 24 hour of breathable high coverage. Now it's interesting it says breathable high coverage and that in the first sentence of the description it says a light veil. I would put this foundation as a solid medium finish. I've applied using this foundation both with a brush and also with my beauty blender and both just look really beautiful. Sometimes I think that with some foundations a uh, beauty sponge of some type works better with a foundation for me and then other times a brush does whereas with this foundation I found that either application it really looks beautiful. Perhaps the only thing with a beauty sponge and that happens quite a bit with foundations is you do get a slightly more sheer coverage so that is something to keep in mind when I put this on and if you think oh I'd rather it was a bit more lighter in coverage you can certainly get that well you can get that with a brush if you just go really easy or without having to think about it too much you can use a beauty sponge and that will definitely give you a bit more of a sheer coverage. The bottle itself of this foundation is really beautiful. I think it looks I think it looks really luxe and I think the packaging is gorgeous. It is glass, the lid just pulls off and it is a pump. So I'm just going to do one pump on the back of my hand and I have been using just one pump and that is enough for all of my face. So the foundation is it's quite thick and as I hold my hand up it isn't running down my hand at all. This foundation is quite heavily fragranced. It would probably be, I'm not sure it would be the most fragranced foundation that I've got. I've got quite a few. Maybe similar to, not the same as the smell but the intensity of the fragrance. Probably similar to if you own a La Prairie foundation, they're quite highly fragranced. And this is the level that this one's on as well, just quite highly fragranced. So if you don't like fragrance in your foundation, you aren't going to like this one. I think the fragrance is beautiful and I personally don't mind fragrance in my foundations at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on with a brush today. And like I said, when I put it on, if you think the coverage is too much, you can definitely sheer it down if you want to. And the easiest way I find to do that is just using a beauty sponge of some type. So yes, there goes the fragrance. You can smell it straight away. I don't really find that it lingers. It lingers a little bit, but you, I'm not smelling it all day or anything like that. So as I mentioned, the shade is 20W Linen Nude. Now I will put everything that I'm putting on my face today will be listed and linked in the description box below. But I'm really happy with the shade. I was quite worried that I was going to get something that was either far too light or far too dark. But I think the shade looks really good. And just what's left on my brush, I'm just going to just pop that under my eyes. Now I could build this up even more, but I'm quite happy with this finish. It covers my redness. I don't certainly need to put on any concealer if I felt that I needed to. The only place that I really need to put on some concealer is under my eyes, and I do that really no matter what foundation that I'm using. So that's with the foundation on, and this side just has that Tom Ford primer on at this stage. So I think it gives, as I was saying, it is a solid medium finish. But I think it gives a really beautiful look to the skin. Now I have worn this quite a few times and worn it on days that I've gone out and it wears beautifully. It says it's 24 hour non-transferable. I'm not really <laughs> too sure about that, but it definitely lasted on those longer days that I was having. And little bits, if it does start to wear, it doesn't go patchy in any way. It wears off very evenly. And I'm just really pleased with how it wore. So the times from when I first got it, the weather was quite a bit warmer than it is now and with my oily skin it wore really beautifully during that warmer weather 
and I've also worn it as the weather's cooled down a bit as well and I don't find it too drying at all I think it is a beautiful beautiful foundation and the fact that I've reached for it quite a bit since I got it is a testament to how much I like it it's definitely one that I would I was in a rush not sure what to put on one of those foundations that I know will look good no matter what this is one of the foundations that I would definitely grab I don't need to fuss around with it too much and it just looks just looks really really beautiful on the skin so even though it's a matte it is a soft matte it's not a flat matte type of foundation whatsoever and I know the primer that I've gone on underneath today is supposed to give a radiance and it does look beautiful under this foundation but I've also worn this foundation with at least two or three other primers that I have including that Chanel the mattifying one I was telling you about and it works beautifully over the more other foundation that I've used is the Dior Velvet and I think I've also used one of the other foundations is oh, the Tom Ford the Traceless Soft Matte Primer I've used that underneath this and it works really well and I've also used because I've got a little bit of that primer left it's the because I do have quite a few primers uh, the Milk Makeup one and it works really well with that one so it works well with a variety of primers. So that's with all the foundation on. I think it gives just this really beautiful finish. And even though it is a strong medium finish, it doesn't look cakey in any way. I think it is really, really pretty. So I think what I'll do is before I put the rest of my makeup on and I'm going to do that off camera but what I'll do is I'll grab my other smaller camera that I have and go out into the lounge with natural light and show it to you there. So in my lounge here I've got a huge window in front of me. It's a beautiful sunny autumn day today and to the right of me as you can see is a ranch side so I've got another big window and on the left there is one as well but I've got those curtains closed otherwise it would just be too bright so here is the foundation and I'm having a look in the monitor as well and it just looks really beautiful and once you see it once I've put on all my makeup as I said I'll do that off camera you'll see the whole look with makeup on and even though it's a solid medium I really like the look of it it's one as I was saying I don't really need apart from under my eyes to add some concealer but it doesn't give a cakey look I think it looks really really good so the rest of my makeup is on and actually I've done another video about the rest of my makeup because it's using a whole lot of new Dior products which I'm really thrilled with and I think that video will be going up before this video so I've been wearing primer foundation now because I've been out and done a couple of little things in the house what's the time now it's 20 past 11 so I've had this foundation on for at least 30 or probably more like 45 minutes now I did powder the foundation as well and it doesn't feel matte at all because I always powder my foundations and I used the it was the La Prairie loose powder today over the top I think the foundation looks I think it looks absolutely beautiful I love the formula of it and even though it's strong I even love the fragrance of it I think the fragrance is gorgeous but like I was saying if you do not like fragrance you are not going to like this foundation now the Tom Ford primer I think it is beautiful I think those with normal to dry skin would absolutely love this primer now I also love it as well I think it gives a beautiful base to foundations it's just that with my oily skin I'd really only use it with a foundation like the one that I've tried today more one that is a matte or soft matte I don't really have any flat matte foundations but I do have a few more soft matte ones and this primer goes perfectly with that now again as I said at the very beginning it is 
a bit cooler now here in New Zealand since it's autumn it's not the middle of summer I don't think this primer would work that great with my oily skin in the when it was like January in the middle of summer here and we had those super humid days then I'd be going for more one of my more mattifying primers but at the moment with the humidity basically nearly gone now and the temperatures a little bit cooler this primer is absolutely perfect and it pairs beautifully with this Louis Vuitton the soft matte foundation together I think they work really beautifully but as I said with the foundation I've also tried it with some of my other primers as well and it pairs really well and also works beautifully with the brush is what I use today to apply it but it also works equally beautifully using a beauty sponge as well so that's it for today's video I would love it if you gave it a like and subscribed and I will see you next time. Bye.